throw that floor water. Oh, pretty baby. Hey guys, um, today is not a very exciting day. As you can see, I will show you the weather. It's a little hard to work on the bus with weather like this. Hello. <laughs> and there's not too much we can do, but today we're putting on rattle trap. It is a little bit of a noisy van, so we're hoping that this is going to work. But I can show you all her new floorboards. It's amazing. <laughs> Not exciting, but it is very exciting to us. So they are a bit dirty because we did help um, our friend just move out. But um, I will just get, yes, I do have socks and thongs on. It is a bit of a cool day. <laughs> uh, all right. So we are just in the process of some, I think, what most people would call it is rattle trap, but over here in Australia we call it... Sound deadening. Sound deadening. Sound deadening <laughs> so, yeah. I to, like the sound of rattle trap though. Just to try and stop the um, any vibration in the metal sheets. Correct, correct. So this is, obviously a lot of vans have uh, the full walls, but we do have a lot of windows. So we are, um, we've obviously got to work out our plan of what we're going to be doing and where everything's going to be going. So in the meantime, this is, I guess, the only part of metal we have in the bus that we can sort of try and eliminate any form of rattling. Our biggest one is probably the doors and um, where the latch is um, when, we, when we open up the doors and when it's driving. But there is a little bit of difference in noise so that's hopefully fingers crossed it does work um is it working so far yes heck yeah it's just more of a thud than a yeah maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> but you never know you can try and i'm just about to come and rip all of the foam out but as you can see underneath it is quite um still a new roofing so i'm going to do my best with doing that while sam adds in the rattle trap but it's looking a lot better i think personally anyways but i'm going to start putting this on the tires so we did put all of this underneath the floorboards it's a kind of like a so Another sound deadener, but also like a water repellent. Floating foil. Um, um, yeah. So I suggested we put it on the tyres there as well. Um, it'll just help with some noise as well. But, and a little bit of insulation because it can get quite hot here in Australia. But let me just put my thumbs back on. Cool, yeah. And I'll show you underneath I guess I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it but you can probably see see all of our boards underneath um, it's all gold so it kind of looks pretty <laughs> but um, it has held up in the weather in the meantime as you can see uh, but found a couple of places Wah where we can actually put a big uh, water tank there. So that actually might help us out because we have decided we are putting in a shower. That is a non-negotiable for me. Um, I think being, I don't know, <laughs> so used to one thing we do um, want a shower. We're still deciding on a toilet, whether we want maybe like just a one for emergencies. Um, but if anyone's got any suggestions out there, we would absolutely love to hear them. Um, but we have decided, because we do have king size, two king size mattresses as well. Um, considering we have a longer home now, we, I think we've decided, yes, that we're going to use one of our yes we have king size mattresses sam takes up a lot of the bed and undecided. so does charlie undecided but that will take up a fair um, bit of room 
in the van. I think but it's double. I don't think a double. I think it's double. I don't think a double. <laughs> we have Charlie and she's the size of a small human. Um, which we will do another little meet the family video as well where you can meet everyone in the family. Um, we actually have two dogs and two cats. But we will do a meet uh, the family video very soon, I guess, and give you a, maybe a little house tour and everything as well of what we're living in at the moment and what we will eventually be getting rid of to save ourselves some money and everything. But I guess it's just a little bit of a... Uh, not too much going on day today and just get some stuff done so I guess I'll play that to you for a little while okay some progress on though. We have a bed. So that's super close up. We installed a bed and we have done insulation. Get there. Replace the floorboards. And new project today. Doing the doors. Looks very nice. Hey Charles. Can you jump off? He's had a wash. things to do but he's coming in on along nicely and we're getting the second door done now because we did not like that job <laughs> hey Charles but we'll keep you posted so that is all about Charlie move <laughs> That is our progress so far on the bus. We had a little bit of a break there because we, Charlie, <laughs> get out of it. We had some things, we did some traveling. Um, uh, yeah, we just, don't know, no excuses. But we had a bit of a break from Mo, but we are up and running again. And that's everything that we have done so far, but we, I don't know what to say. Pretend someone's listening to you, like, you're talking to someone, I guess. Pretend someone's listening to me. <laughs> oh, yes. So, we've ordered some fans. Um, they are going to go up there and over there. And we'll be installing those soon. Um, we're gonna do some walls. We're gonna finish the doors. What else are we gonna do? What else are we gonna do? What else? Just little bitty things. 
Um, we're gonna replace these like little latch thingies. Oh, um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah, lots of stuff, but we'll keep you posted, I guess. We're in a bit of a food coma because we've just had Guzman Gomez burritos. And I know I'm talking smack. Alright, we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.